see that right there. Multiple functions. It serves as a box and an instrument. So this is a uh, loot crate. Uh, September, I think, is the month. Yeah. So I'm going to open it. Okay, so. You got. It is a bowl of fluff, aka a Tribble from Star Trek Season 1. I think it's like one of the first episodes. It's They're basically just balls of fluff. i crazy. Basically, a, oh my god, that dog. Everything, all the animals are going mad! Okay. Uh, yeah. So, it's basically balls of fluff that just, uh, reproduce, like, with corn or rice or something, I don't remember, but it happens to a lot of them, and then they all start dying all over the place, and they have to, like, eject them out of the thing. Yeah. Airlock, that's what I meant to say. So, we got some, uh, green apple pop rocks. Don't know exactly why those are there, or what significance that has, because I think this is like the galactic loot crate. So, I don't know, I guess they're kind of uh, space, spacey looking. Uh, I see what that is. Okay, um, here we have a magnet, and instead of the asteroid ship, it is a. Millennium Falcon, TIE Fighters, TIE Fighter Bomber, Asteroids, the Big Worm, and a Star Destroyer. It's pretty cool. It's like a mashup thing. Of course, uh, copyright Lucasfilm. Sponsor me, Lucasfilm. Here we have a science fiction vinyl figure. Let's see. We could get an alien. I think that's a Klingon. E.T., a guy with a gun, uh, a man with an axe, a robot, a metallic alien, a blue man, a Spock with a swordy type thing, a Robocop, a Greedo, maybe, a uh, Judge Dredd, a green man with gun, a blue man with red lines. A blood flavored Klingon, a, a glowy blue man, and a clear flavored Klingon. Those are all the ones I can get. I'm uh, gonna have to. Oh, actually. This might open without a knife or scissors. Force. There you go. And I got a black bag. Cool, next thing. I got Man with Gun. Feel free to tell me what who who is. I have no idea. Uh Firefly, maybe? That's popular. So uh what was my odds of getting that? A 1 in 24. Not the lowest, but also not the highest. Okay, actually, I think I can look here. It is indeed Firefly. Firefly Man. He... Move that out the way. He is the Firefly. And now we have... An alien that is camera shy. Don't look at me. Look at this. Yes, you are. It is the alien. I also, I think, could have got... Stop. <laughs> could have gotten Ripley with flamethrower. God damn it. Keep this trash up here because the dog's trying to eat it. Dallas with flamethrower. Ash with motion detector. And Kane in Nostromo... 
spacesuit. Let's see. Manipulate teeth to attack. The alien has a removable translucent dome revealing a special lever which puts the inner jaws into action. Slide the gruesome teeth forward and back into its mouth. Burp. His evil brains glow in the dark. After exposure to sunlight, the aliens, all caps, head will glow in the dark. I'm now going to open this. Actually, it classifies as an adult collectible. I don't know if I should open this then. Because, uh... No, come on. It's going to be worth... It is going... Fuck it. Opened it skillfully, also. Okay, so let's take the rubber band off his head. Its head. I don't know if it's male or female. It has legs. It does indeed have legs. <laughs> Try to put this head back on. Okay. It has legs. They move forward and back. They are not jointed at the knee. Uh, I assume he's also his leg. His arm comes off. Uh, no, it's not actually supposed to come off. It broke. Well, shouldn't have opened it. Uh, yeah. Well, he has suffered some terrible industrial accident. And now only has one arm with which to uh, pitch a rugby ball. No, not rugby. Cricket ball. Because he doesn't bend any of his appendages and that's what they do in cricket. Uh, his arm, head moves back and forth and... Look that right there. That's less of an inner jaw and more of like a white tongue, but... Yeah. Also, I'd have to turn off my 67 lights to see if it, uh, glows in the dark. There you go, I'll just go ahead and, uh, put it right next to the light for a second. Sure. Let's say it does. Okay. Oh boy. Hopefully some super glue can fix that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's put that there. <laughs> Shaping up pretty well. Um, turn that upside down. I have no idea what that is. Okay, um, so we have a Magoo, also known as a pin, and it has a robot, Darth Vader, C-3PO, and Firefly Man on it. It is very small. And it will go in my jar of pins later. So here we have... Ooh, actually, we have two of them. I don't know if that's an accident or not. Yeah, that's two of the exact same ones. So, uh... We have Halo Escalation. It's a comic, apparently. And it is issue one. Valued at $4. Um, I believe there's only three. Three of. Oh, no. It is an ongoing series. Hmm. Cool. Okay, so, uh, I shall reveal one code to the next person who wants to watch this. Code has been revealed. You can have that one. Mysterious viewer. Next, we have $10,000. I am rich now. 10000 Oh! Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know the significance of... I also don't know if these are supposed to come out or not. Uh, I assume they're not. One second. There we go. We have a hundred, one hundred, note, 
100 credits, 100 dollars, 100 magus, and it has writing in Chinese, and it says unification, and it has some dragons and stuff. They're also very large, as you can see. Um, I think this might be from like Firefly or something, but... Again, no idea. I'd never watched that. Probably won't. Because you know, I don't really want to. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and try to slide. Also, has some Indian writing at the bottom. I think that's Indian. If not, then. Oops. Okay. Uh, fall into savings. This is just loot crate selling things. Um, this is the. Thing that's on the pin, except larger. My dog is now trying to eat that money. Yes, so it is indeed C-3PO, some Tribbles, a robot, Darth Vader, Firefly Man, and then a loot crate. Leave. Okay, this is going to be doing one-handed now. this mysterious thing at the bottom of the box. It seems to be a poster. Oh my lord, I don't have any room. Um, it is Han Solo and Carbonite. So uh, I think that's it, actually, for this now. Let me try to pull this back up a little bit. Yep, there you go. I'm gonna put that in there. Um, and I leave you. I leave you with a one hand.